Ruben in the Netherlands writes, I know from a earlier video that you have Kef loudspeakers at home. So I assume that you are familiar with the brand. Well, yes, sir. They have a reference series loudspeakers. Uh, the older ones that use one or two woofers placed vertically inside the cabinet. The mids and the highs have their own space on the front of the cabinet. I currently own a pair of them right now and I think they come pretty close to the sound of a separate subwoofer. If you do not have the room to place one or two subs within your stereo loudspeakers, would this be a good alternative from your viewpoint? Well, I am absolutely good with that. And our Aspen series of loudspeakers, guess what? There's woofers on the side. Now, they happen to be passive woofers, as in a passive radiator, but still that where they resonate, that low frequency is all coming from the sides. The exception to that is the FR10s, which have radiators in the rear. But at those low frequencies, whether it's in the side or the rear, really doesn't matter. And one of the advantages, and I'm guessing Kef did this because I'm not that familiar with your particular uh, series, is that opposing woofers on each side, if they're done right, kind of cancel out any kind of cabinet resonance. Because if they're done right, they're, when they're tied together, they, they, they do it at the same time as opposed to one speaker like in the front which is pushing and causing the cabinet to to move when you do them together they uh, can tend to cancel out some of that movement so yeah i like side mounted woofers radiators absolutely can it take the place of a subwoofer well yes and no yes and no now it's irrelevant if you can't put a subwoofer into your room if you just simply don't have the space. It's a moot point. But in general, as I have said probably a hundred times, and I'll say it another hundred times as we do these videos, the value of a subwoofer when you're dealing with a full range loudspeaker is not to help the speaker, it's to help the room because where your main speakers are and where your listening position is, often do not, those, those two things don't line up very well to make low bass at the listening position. Therefore, you have to take a separate speaker, a subwoofer, and place it somewhere else in the room that connects perfectly with your listening position. And if you do it right, you wind up having the main speaker sound like they have tremendous bass. When you go upstairs to Music Room 3 and you listen to a pair of FR30s or FR20s or FR10s, you will hear bass that just sounds like those speakers are amazing. And they are. The FR30s go down to 26 hertz. I mean, that's like close to the limits of human hearing. But without the sub in the room, you can see the woofers moving at those frequencies. They're outputting that sound, but you don't hear it. Why? Because you're in the wrong place. Stand up in our room, we can demo it to you. And if you start moving around and we're playing something on without the sub in the FR30s, you'll hit a point where like, oh, there's that bass. Got it. But now you're three feet in front of the speaker <laughs> or 15 feet back, you know, wherever it is. So. That's the value of a sub. And so whether it's in the side of a speaker or in the back, not going to help you a whole lot. So, sorry. Um, I wish I had a better answer for you, but such is life.